I am Christian Ryan Philip Kelly. Um, and do you want one of these three trucks? We have a brand new 2016 Hess Truck and Dragster, Men in Box, awesome truck. We have a brand new Men in Box, 1990 Hess Tanker truck. And we also have a brand new Men in Box, 1994 Hess Rescue truck. These trucks are great. It, they all come with the boxes. Um, awesome trucks. All of them brand new in box. So if you want one of these three trucks, go down below in the links in the description to the auction and you can buy which one or which ones you want. And yeah, enjoy the video. And today is day two of um, the coronavirus, like my videos, to entertain you people out there that have nothing to do, uh, and you could just watch one of my videos. So today, um, I might even do two videos. Um, number one will be this truck, and then number two, I will decide, and you will see that um, a couple minutes or an hour later after this video is posted. So I hope you enjoy, and I hope you are on board when you watch my videos because I do work hard on these, and I hope that uh, you you guys uh, watch them so I can entertain you. Um, so <clears throat> today I am reviewing the 2007 Hess uh, monster truck and motorcycles. But first off, I'd like to say. Um, when I hit 175 subscribers, I'm going to do another video on every single Hush truck I have. And, um, if you subscribe to me, you get a shout-out on one of my videos. So, that is pretty cool. Alright. So, this truck is really special to me, because it was the year I was born. And, it's the only monster truck in Hess. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. So, you have the Hess monster truck with motorcycles includes uh, energized batteries, real head and tail lights, uh, multiple sound features, motorcycles with lights, and friction motors. Alright, there's the box art, front of the truck, other side of the box, and back of the truck. Alright, you're going to turn this upside down, uh, the box upside down. And it shows you the battery installation features, sound features, motorcycle operation, and it tells you all about that. So, yeah. Let's just get to the truck. So, I believe either this truck or the year before, 2006, one of these years was the first year. Now, Hess no longer does this. I don't know why. They went back to cardboard, but... At the end of the box, there's the front styrofoam. Just to mix them out with it. Um, so maybe this was to keep it safer. If I was Hess, I would actually probably keep the styrofoam because it is much easier to remove than all the cardboard. And to me, cardboard it it doesn't really do much compared to styrofoam. Styrofoam would actually stop like impacts and stuff. Maybe add a little styrofoam on the top of the box, but. Otherwise, pretty cool. Alright. So here you have the 2007 Hess monster truck and motorcycles. Let's start off with the motorcycles. So, as you can see, there's two different color motorcycles. Wow. Just like every other truck. So, there's always, like, the 1997 truck and race car, there's two different color cars. The 2006 New York Stock Exchange, kind of like the 97, two different color cars, green and white, wow, has colors. 
um, 2003 race car. I think you get the point. Um, so, as always, the green motorcycle in this case has, uh, it's all green, including the guy's body and stuff, with Hess gasoline and all the stripes in white. Hess 2007 license plate. And, um, on this one, the hand, the guy's hands come up. So, yay, woohoo. Coronavirus, no, it's not funny. Um, so you, and then if, this guy is looking this way, so if you turn his head front, uh, to the front, he, uh, it lights up. As you can see. So the batteries that this takes are, um, I don't know, I don't really know the actual term for it. I call them circle batteries. They're tiny circles. I think it's like A76 or something. Um, so this is not pullback. Instead, it is friction motors. So, if you haven't watched my other videos, um, friction means that the that it'll follow whatever way you push it. It's kind. It's not really like pullback. It's like the feeling of it, but it'll move any way you push it to. Just like the front tire, where it's just like dead. The white motorcycle, just like every other white thing that has his mane in this case a lot of tree trucks uh you have the um white uh, uh person and motorcycle and then the green stripes and outlines and all that stuff the arms do come up once again yay and then once again if you switch the head the lights come on that's 2007 once again friction motor so, these two are identical, the motorcycles are identical, except they're different colors. So, yeah, now onto the truck, which is the really cool part. So this truck is the biggest test truck that has ever been made. And look at the tires. Dead. It, if your child drops this truck, and you have like, I don't know, a five year old, and they're like, I don't know, let me just chuck it down the stairs. And and it just lands on its wheels, which it probably will, because if it lands like this, it's gonna go down. And it may dent the floor, I'm not saying it won't, but this truck will not get like impacted or anything since this is such a beast. I mean, if they chuck it, oh jeez, I don't wanna get into that yet. If they chuck it like this, of course it'll, get dented up here but not really down here all right so you have one of the kind Hess decals right here um well not really the Hess decal the hi <laughs> sorry about that um you have the uh flame decals here one of a kind um <laughs> that was funny uh then you have the uh like hot rod thing right here you have hess right here and just showed you those the one of the kind of flame decals again the t uh the side pipes which are really cool i like that um hess 2007 in the back the motorcycle bed hess right there the back tail lights once again another flame um Surprised Hess didn't put like two huge smokestacks back here. I mean, I get they put them right here, but still, um, just surprised about that. On the bottom, you have all the writing and stuff. So you also have all lights. It's very dim. And then you have the flashers. And time for the sounds. So the sounds on this truck are the startup. The um, racing, the horn, and then just the flashers for 30 seconds. So this truck, my no doubt in my mind, is the biggest Hess truck Hess has ever made. Um, it is pretty heavy too. I mean, not that bad, but it's still pretty heavy. 
it's pretty big in width too. Um, I also like that Hess put like uh, the spring things down here. Not actual springs, but you know, the big steps are pretty cool. A, there's a lot of detail on this truck and I really like it. Um, one of my favorites probably, since it was the year I was born too. So this truck, I believe, is the only truck in the 2000s, and I'm right, this is the only truck in the 2000s to be all green. And I believe that my, other than the 2012 Hess helicopter, um, this truck is the only full green body truck in the 2000s and the 2010s. Uh, so that's really cool. Can't wait to see what the 2020 truck will be. That'll come November 1st. It's only like, I don't know, 300 more days until that comes out. I seriously have a countdown on my Apple Watch and phone uh, to when the new Hess truck comes out. I know, it's ridiculous. All right, well, thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel. Uh, I make these videos for you so you don't get bored. So subscribe for me, please, and like the videos for me because I really put my uh, put a lot of effort and work into these videos. So please smash that like button and give it uh, um, and uh, subscribe to CRF. And yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you tomorrow.